What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel, and we are here for Flashback Pink Slips episode 21, Super Bowl Extra Large, Super Bowl XL, the 2006 Super Bowl. In real life, it was the Pittsburgh Steelers beating the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, I remember, I don't really actually remember much of that game to be completely honest with you, uh, but uh, we're feeling pretty good about coming into this matchup here. In this world, the 9-7 Houston Oilers going up against the 12-4 San Francisco 49ers. Now, the big question was how we ended the last video. And actually, I'm looking at it right now at the Wikipedia app. The Super Bowl XL in real life, Willie Parker went off. He had a 75-yard touchdown run. And guess who's on our team? Willie Parker. So can destiny find a way to repeat itself? I hope so. But what we kind of posed here is there's a legitimate chance I would say better than a 50 50 shot I mean we are on all Madden you never know what happens but if we win this game what do we do do we continue to try and build a dynasty with the Houston Oilers or do we do we ride off in the sunset does uh, you know Magnum Slater sell the team do we do we do we just wash our hands of the Oilers and relocate to another team and by relocate, I don't mean physically relocate the Oilers somewhere else. I mean relocate our bodies. Relocate this series from the Houston Oilers and become one of the worst teams in the in the game. I've already kind of looked at it. Worst team in the game doesn't mean worst record because the Detroit Lions, are they're not a great roster, but they're not the worst roster. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's I, I was looking at the top of my head. The Browns, 8-8 eight eight Browns, they had one of the worst, rec like the worst rosters I've seen. And so, so for me, when it comes down to it, it's not so much record because the Lions are, you know, they're probably a bottom 10 team, but now they have the number one overall pick and they have a 99 overall player. I mean, we'll look at that. Obviously, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We have to get through the Super Bowl first uh, and hopefully win, man. I want to win a Super Bowl. I don't care about having to relocate. Uh, I will not go to the Marshalls, though, because we did the Marshalls before. I'll tell you that. And I don't really want to stay in the division. As much as, you know, it, it makes kind of sense because I know the Jags aren't particularly good or the Marshalls aren't particularly good. Uh, you know, I want to, I want to you know, have fresh new rivalries. When you're the Oilers and you keep playing essentially Colts twice a year, the Jags twice a year, the Marshalls twice a year, it gets a little bit old. And they, we, I feel like relocating just a little bit might help us out. So, you know, after this episode, depending on where we're going, we'll be able to maybe make a poll or, or figure out what team we could potentially go to. But again, we are getting way too far ahead of ourselves because we have to go win. If we don't win the Super Bowl, we are going back at it again next year with the Houston Oilers trying to win said Super Bowl. But at least we have a plan in place now that when and if, I mean, we could be the Oilers right up until we get caught up to the 2020 season if we never win a Super Bowl. But when we eventually do win a Super Bowl, because I think we will, uh, we will pick a brand new team and try to rebuild them up. So that's about it, man. Without further ado, I mean, we I guess we could kind of preview... This 49ers team, yet again, we did it at the end of the last episode. They're not stacked from ability standpoints. So they have T.O. as their superstar X-Factor. Julian Peterson, Jamie Sharper, Evan Mathis. Uh, you know, two linebacker. Their linebacking course should be solid, which is, I mean, could be a little bit worried because we definitely want, especially now that we're on all Madden, and I know I throw god-awful interceptions, trying to keep the ball on the ground like it's a Madden competitive game. You know, the Madden Bowl. I'm just going to try to run the ball down their throats. But they have Julian Peterson and Jamie Sharper. Their, their main objective is going to be to stop Willie Parker, take the run game away, and make it so we have to win on the back of Eli Manning, who we know in real life, Eli Manning in the Super Bowl, maybe one of the most dangerous Super Bowl quarterbacks of all time. Like Eli Manning, when he goes to the Super Bowl, it's like a different beast, an entirely different beast. So without further ado, let's get into Super Bowl XL, Houston Oilers, San Francisco 49ers. All right, Niners kicking off wearing the black and red. Pretty cool unis. Dante Hall, the human joystick, takes the ball out to the 32-yard line. Let's go do this, boys. Eli Manning. He, he's not Alicia. He's elite. 35 touchdowns, 4,700 yards. Come on, man. You're born for the Super Bowl. Oh! <laughs> Fast Willie Parker. 29 yards. We're on to the 49er territory. His arm was going forward. His arm was going forward. Can I challenge that? Come on. Fucking bullshit. We got back there. Carter, our former backup. I think that is. Okay. Okay. You want to do that? Okay. 
Quincy Carter. Come on, baby. You know that you want it. Come on, baby. You know that you want it. Ah. Third and one. Thought we could get him to bite on the deep ball. Should we go? I will punt it. Play it safe. Get out of here. Third and three. Trying the trick play. I don't think so. Give me the ball back. No. No. Come on. Eli Manning walked right into the safety. Brutal. Brutal. Someone in Las Vegas just made a trillion dollars because they bet on the first score of the Super Bowl being a safety. What is this, like the, the Broncos and Seahawks? Come on. Brutal. T.O. There's T.O. There's a T.O. sighting. 31 yards. They're scoring range. Thank God that happened. T.O., if he was a little bit more aware, he would have been able to turn around, walk that in for a touchdown. Defense holds. Niners have to settle for a field goal attempt. We cannot move the ball right now. Third and eight would love Andre Johnson just to pink slips it up for one play here. Quick score. That's how our offense works. He's just getting bottled. We're going to go X, baby. David Boston finds that soft middle of the defense, moves the chains. Oh, Andre Johnson, third and 19, exactly what we needed. 25 yards, moving the chains. Third and three, we're going to go on the cross play. Get Hall going across. He's so fast, so agile. We could just... Oh, no. Are you kidding me? What the fuck was that? He couldn't be any more wide open. This is your one play. And it nearly donked him on the head. Pick that off, man. I don't just need you to do a leaping one-handed fucking ballerina move. Bring the ball down. Double, triple axle. Just catch the ball. Third and six. It's short. Thank God. Burn a timeout because the Niners get the ball to start the second half. A buck 52. Even, even a lead. Even a one-point lead. Kick a field goal. I'll be happy with that. Oh, Jason Witten. Let's go. That was a panic throw. I literally just... Thought, throw it to Witten. I wasn't even targeting him. I was going to go to the ta Calico on the outside because he's like 97 speed. And then Jason Witten, the man, the myth, the legend, comes up. Big play there. We still got a timeout. I wonder, just wonder if I can hit Willie Parker out the backfield. We throw on the run. It's broken up. I think that's uh, Sharper, Jamie Sharper, really good linebacker. It's the Super Bowl. I have no qualms about throwing slants cheese if it will work. Will it work? It does. It does. Andre Johnson, first touchdown of the game in the dying moments of the first half. Finally, some momentum here for the Houston Oilers. Get out of here. Get out of here. Might overran it, but still got there in the end. Nick Collins, safety blitz. Second and a mile for the Niners here on their opening drive of the second half. Right, we'll just go zone defense. It's third and 30. Again, all the momentum seems to be trending in the direction of the Houston Oilers here. We can get a stop. I think this game's good. Why is Rocky Boyman in coverage against T.O.? He's the one X factor. Third and three. I can't get over that. Literally the worst player on our defense. A linebacker in coverage against the only weapon on the 49ers. Thank God James Harrison is sick of it. Gets the sack. Holds the Niners to a field goal. Jesus, I can't believe that. What are the odds? Still waiting for that 75-yard run from Willie Parker. Any moment now, it's going to come. Gagoosh. Maybe that's a little karma for trying to go slant again like a disgusting normie. But, uh... I will punt it. Good stand there from the Niners' defense. Third and five. Come on. Come on, nothing soft, and that is exactly the definition of soft. Third and nine, I'm going to my favorite play here. Corner blitz, DB, anything coming from the DBs has been working the last couple days. Until then, and we can't force a drop catch to save our life right now. Jericho Cotri, 23 yards, huge first down for the 49ers. 
Get out of here. Get out of here. Huge third down coming up to kick off the fourth quarter. The blitz has not been working. We'll just go cover two man. Just play, just try to keep it in front of us, man. To a man, I think we have better athletes as long as we don't put our middle linebacker on T.O. I like our chances. And how is T.O. wide open again? Yeah, just... Oh! What? No! He dropped it! Look at this. That's, a, that's the drop animation. Did not complete the catch. No! No! Fatality. I can't I can't hit the deep ball. I cannot. Andre Johnson would have beat this man. I don't have enough time in the pocket. Third sack for Julian Peterson there. I, the deep ball is there. They're putting single high. Come on. Fucking motherfucker! Come on! There, David Boston, probably the only guy. Gee, I, oh, man, I had to do so much editing on that last one. Usually I don't put those in the videos, but it's the Super Bowl. We'll leave it in. God damn it, this game can get frustrating on all Madden. But it, we hit it, man. We hit it. That's how our team's built. We are the deep threat team. We're not meant to just nickel and dime our way down there. We're like just throwing to J.C. Wade, and we need that outlet down deep. Thank God, Boston. And maybe it'll open things up so we can run the ball Willie Parker. But... We got a lead now. Our defense needs to step up. For love of God, just cover T.O. Please. We go for two to try and make it a field goal game again. Like anything, the run is just not there. Suffocating run defense from the 49ers. For the love of God, why is 50 on him? Why? How do I switch my corners? I'm sick and tired of my 71 corner being the only guy that could cover. Like, is my depth chart all messed up? Is there something? Why is Carroll, who the hell is Carroll, and why is he always on Terrell Owens? Where's Lito Shepard? Right, this is big. Third and five. They are in field goal range to take the lead. I I'm fine with that. I'm fine with them just having a two-point lead, us being able to go down, and then wide open. They just take the check down. I think he stepped out early. I think he stepped out early. Nah, we'll just give him the first down. Nah, it's all cool. That's good. Cool. Oh, there we go. Big Al Hainsworth. Get the sack. Make it a little bit more difficult. Third and 18. Just don't let T.O. get past you. That's all you have to do. The jump pass. Holy, I was going to break my $1,000 monitor if that got caught. Hell to do a field goal. Thank God. Thank God T-Streets couldn't come down with it. Miss, 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 nerd, miss. Okay, let's just play it safe, man. I, I, I feel confident in my kicking game. If we have to get a weird angled game winning kick, we can make it. Or if my Eli Manning just starts sucking for no reason in the fourth quarter, that'd be pretty frustrating. That'd be a tough pill to swallow. But uh, we're almost at midfield. We are almost at midfield. I'd love to maybe hit Willie Parker at the backfield here. Jason Witten was wide open. Jason Witt was wide open. Don't know why we didn't go there. Third and ten. And Paul going on a slant here just as a nice option. Even though Darren Sharper has been... Oh, come on. First down. No, do we get the first down? They got the first down when it was close. We got fourth and one. Let's go. We're going for it. Kick the 60-yarder or go for it. Inside zone run. The run game's not been there. Like, everything says this is going to get stocked, but who cares, right? At the end of the day, you go for it. Willie Parker moves the chains. Thank God. Fuck me, man. Third five, chance to try and get the ball back. Does it matter? Probably not. I'm going to throw another pick. Come on. Oh, we, oh, okay. We got a chance. We have a chance.
Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest Everybody knows my name, shit I'ma have this whole fucking game list Spitting with the same wit And I'm gonna be famous Ain't nobody able to delay this Coming up, I had a vision to make it Oh, uh, there was a moment there Where he like, looked like He didn't look like he was 99 speed Oh, let's go That is how you win a Super Bowl in pink slips Paying homage to Madden 17 The originating pink slips Come on, come on, defense. Buck 2 Just start this off with a sack. Make them start using their timeouts. Look, they're scrambling. He's scrambling. Decides to start running now. It's fine. Keep an eye on that. We'll keep an eye. We'll lock that down. He's scrambling again. Boyman. Yes. You got exposed before. I like, why aren't they using their timeout? Okay, they take their timeout. Boyman got put on a, on a pedestal by Terrell Owens. That was a great play though. That, that didn't make up for it, but it kind of soothes the pain just a little bit. I mean, I, I am almost second thing we get we should just have a linebacker dedicated to spy Quincy Carter. No. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, man. I am oh, I'm so terrified. TO just straight up caught it one-handed. We got man covers. They can do the exact same thing that they want to. TO has been that unstoppable. Come on, Big Al. Big Al! There we go. How's that not a fumble? Can we get a challenge to go our way, please? There's been a sack that I don't think was a sack fumble against us. There was that touchdown they got. I don't think that was a completed catch. And they're taking a check down here. Going to burn their last time out. They are, they are close. They have a chance to just throw it up to T.O. and see what happens. But they only have two more times to get it. Keep it in front of you, Boyman. Why would they do that? It's over. The worst play call in history ends the, for the Niners as the Houston Oilers on the back of everything at its core. That's right with pink slips. The deep ball. The juiced Eli Manning. The juiced Andre Johnson. And the touchdown. Right, stealing victory from the jaws of the feet after a horrific... Everything in this channel was encapsulated in that one play. Mad and cheese, terrible decision-making, horrible interception, and then going back to what we know best. Getting sacks and dropping bombs, baby. Let's go. Get out the field, nerd alert. Punch back a Notre Dame over there. But we survived, man. T.O. was an absolute beast. Absolute monster. Andre Johnson, T.O. going head-to-head. -head. Two of the best wide receivers the league's ever seen. How was that a touchdown? Oh, my God. Let's go, man. I get, you know, it's one of those things. Andre Johnson's your Super Bowl MVP. Five catches, 157 yards, two touchdowns. But this is like, this is ultimately the Madden cheese, all Madden. Just the weird things that happen on all Madden. Make it when you actually win, when you overcome all those odds. It makes it that much more rewarding. So, in a way, I re I... I really feel like I'm happy that game was an all bad against everyone up there on the Houston Oilers. We got Eli Manning, Willie Parker. I think that's Jonathan Vilma for some reason. All up there hoisting the Super Bowl. We did it. It took us a couple years, three, four years. But the Oilers are Super Bowl champions. The ups and the downs, the bad losses, the sim losses. And it all came down to this, man. 23 to 18 Houston Oilers almost 400 yards three touchdowns Eli Manning did his thing as only he can do in the Super Bowl that is this is the beginning it's only his second year but this is the beginning of one of the most clutch Super Bowl quarterbacks of all time it just started a little bit earlier and in a different uniform but what a game from Eli Manning run game was stifled like I said in my preview they had good linebackers man their front seven was good we could not run the ball with Willie Parker Andre, they couldn't stop it. David Boston, 120 yards, touchdown, had a bomb. Andre, two tutties, 157. Defensively, Winfield had four TFLs. We had a couple sacks there. Harrison, Nick Collins, Rocky Boyman, uh, Albert Hainsworth. No interceptions, no turnovers. Not too worried about it, man. Offense came big when they needed to. And the Oilers are your Super Bowl champions. Where's the star rating, C4? Well, now this is get, where it gets, you know, we're, we're going to be moving on from the Houston Oilers. I guess we technically should do a star rating, but how... I don't really want to do what we used to do. What we used to do, and anyone that's an OG, was when you won the Super Bowl, you got any player in the league. That, that, was, that was the... Uh, 
the big caveat. When you finally won the Super Bowl from starting with like a 65 cupcake team, your Super Bowl winnings was you could take any player in the league and put them on your team. We now know that we're leaving Houston, and we haven't previously discussed that rule. So, you know, again, at the at the risk of moving on the fly, we'll just keep the score from this game. We'll pick a player from the not. We'll just say it's... How about this? To find the middle ground between the unstoppable final boss victory of getting any player in the league from pink slips and then calculating properly the score from the Super Bowl... We'll just say the Super Bowl in this year, and obviously we can refine this in future years, but the Super Bowl this year is straight up. We could take any player we want from the 49ers. And, yeah, I, I feel like that's that's the compromise here, but we definitely need to talk about it. I didn't think we'd win the Super Bowl this early, but we did. So maybe we could hash out thoughts about how we, how we reward ourselves the Super Bowl. In years past, it's always been we pick any player in the league. For this video, maybe for future videos, like the suggestion of maybe not going that outrageous and just saying you get any player from your opponent that you beat in the Super Bowl. So it kind of keeps it, you know, the teams that aren't even are sitting and watching at home. They're like, hey, we didn't do anything. How come we're losing our franchise player? So how we're going to view this as we most likely end the Houston Oilers era is we get to add one player to the 49ers to the Houston Oilers and then try to figure out what the hell is next. So you would think that Teal would be the guy, however, he is... 32 so even though we are you know leaving i think julian peterson would be the guy he's 28 superstar outside linebacker when you look at the at the oilers outside linebackers aren't bad they definitely have some upside uh but they're definitely not a probably on the path of being a superstar you can look at boyman 77 daryl smith we'll probably get rid of boyman guy got picked on in the super bowl so there we go the oilers our final parting gift to this franchise is julian peterson from the San Francisco 49ers. So there we are, man. That that we got it. We got the Super Bowl. We got a flashy new outside linebacker. I mean, this team is juiced to the gills now. Willie Parker's an X Factor. We got one, two, three, four. I mean, he's old, but four, five, six, seven X Factors on offense. On defense, we got Winfield, Hainsworth, Harrison, Ed Reed, Jonathan Vilma, Sean Merriman. Oh, just casually adding a 94 linebacker as well. Like this, you know, we, through 21 episodes, we have taken this team from a laughing stock and, and got it to exactly where we needed to be. And there's definitely been an appropriate amount of ups and downs, big losses, losing key vital players that we want to build around. But I, I think it's a very fitting ending. This is exactly where we probably should leave a team. Winning a Super Bowl and the best, most overpowered team in the league. And I, I don't know where we're going to go next. I have no clue what we're going to do next. But what I do know is that wherever we go, the Oilers are the now creme de la creme, the premier franchise in the National Football League. And I sure as hell look forward to when it comes, whatever our new team is, to play the Oilers at, at, at getting, you know, the, the captain rules are gone. When we leave, Magnum Slater's out the door, the captain rules are gone. So next time we play the Houston Oilers, maybe we'll be trying to get back an Andre Johnson. Maybe we'll be trying to get a Willie Parker. Probably not Eli Manning. Don't like him. But maybe we'll try to get a Jason Witten, a Jason Peters, a Sean Merriman, a James Harrison, an Albert Hainsworth, Trent Cole, Antoine Winfield, Ed Reed, of God's sakes. But for that, that's going to be that's gonna be another episode, fellas. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. We'll call this right now the end of Season 1. The end of Season 1 of Pink Slips here in Madden 20. Season 2 will kick off as soon as I figure out what the hell I'm going to be doing. I have an idea. I think you guys are really going to like it. I think the people that I have working on it are going to hate my guts. But I think I know what I'm going to do. And when I do it, I'll let you guys know. And it should be soon. Hopefully, it'll be by the end of the week. Season 1 of Pink Slips is over. Season 2 is coming. Your Super Bowl champions, 23-18, winning on a Pink Slip special, Houston Oilers, it's over. Oilers, come out to play.